Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for June 27th, 2023. Well, yesterday we had kind of an interesting day. Um, we actually had an attack on the big tech giants by the bears. Um, we haven't seen that for a while, and um, the bears kind of attacking the, the tech giants themselves that um, have been very overbought in the short term. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in, let's buckle up, let's get ready for the Tuesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thanks so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Looking at the charts this morning, well, we had uh, kind of an interesting day yesterday. If you'll notice right here, looking at this chart, we uh, pushed down, but we continued to bounce off of that moving average squeeze here in the, the diamonds. We tested that 50-day moving average again. And overnight, we had the futures trying to push higher, but with that uncertainty of the data coming this morning, we've got a little bit of a bearish push going on right at the moment so we've seen a little bit of back and forth here in the pre-market if the bears were to find inspiration here today then i would suggest we break that 50-day moving average and possibly pu push down into a level maybe right between about here and right in there you can see we've got some um, support and resistance areas right in those areas of the chart. Now, nothing um, would really be a major problem here if we were to push down below the 50 and then bounce right back. If we push down and close below the 50, that might raise a little bit of concern here in the market. If the bulls find inspiration today in all of the data that we've got coming, then I would look for a test of this resistance right in here. You'll notice we have quite a few candles right through this area that are kind of tying this area together. And if we can break through that, then I would look right up into that area right there for the next level of price resistance. Let's keep in mind that if you look at this chart right in here, we're getting closer and closer to that upside trend. And perhaps we still have that possibility that we could rest or consolidate in here as we rest and wait for the next round of economic uh, or earnings reports um, that'll be about three weeks from now. Let's take a look at our um, SPY. SPY also holding in here on this bullish upside trend and we kind of gave up that little support area in the chart yesterday as the bears attacked the, the, the tech giants. A little bit of a pullback in them anyway. And you can see um, just maybe slipping down just a little bit beyond that resistance high, um, or sh should I say support high in the chart. So watch that closely. We tried to get a little bit of bullishness going here overnight, suggesting that we weren't worried about the economic numbers coming up but we probably should be paying attention to those and that possibility that they could be market moving. So I would be watching for that possibility of some pops and drops, possibly even some head fakes here on the day. One thing um, we uh, wouldn't be all that surprised to experience would be a little bit more price volatility today as a result of the data on the way. If the bears were to remain um, engaged here, I would look for a test right down into here to test that little support area. And if they push on through there, maybe a test of this area in that chart. If the bulls find inspiration, well, once again, I'm gonna say right up through here where we can connect a lot of these candles together. We get those wicks right up here the last couple of days showing that little bit of price resistance, maybe a pop through there. And if we can get up through there, well, let's go to this next level a little bit higher, see if we can push through an area like that. Also keeping in mind that we could easily slip into that consolidation once again, as we wait for the next round of earnings, and that's not been uncommon. We've seen that the last couple earnings where we go into this choppy light um, kind of uh, uh, 
frustrating um, waiting period um, heading into the next earnings reports. We have removed some of that overbought condition here in the SPY. So this is a healthy pullback in the market. We take a look at our QQQ. QQQ is just now beginning a little bit more of that healthy pullback with that attack yesterday. And it, it really was led by tech giants. If you take a look at stocks like Google, um, Google actually losing some support yesterday, uh, breaking down just a little bit. Now, I don't think this is horrible and or in any way should I would I suggest that you should be running for the doors or thinking that um, the bottom's going to fall out of this at the moment. But what we do see in some of these charts is just that little bit of concern starting to come in saying that it's time to relieve some of that um, overbought condition in the QQQ. Now, if we look right in here, we've got a pretty decent level of price support in there. So a pullback into here would not be out of the question. And, and honestly, it wouldn't change the bullish nature of this chart at all. Just relieving some of that overbought um, look here in that overextended condition. If you look right in here, if we were to break this support, right here, then I would look for a pullback into here that could test um, that support and also that upside trend. Um, and I don't think anything happens here in the market on the bearish side unless we were to break through that to the downside. So watch for a little bit more resting consolidation in here as we wait for the next round of earnings. And then if we take a look, if the bulls were to find um, inspiration here today, then once again, I'm going to be looking right up into these um, wick highs that we've attempted the last couple of days to see if we can break through up in here. And if we can, then we certainly have an open path to retest the highs here in the QQQ. Let's take a look at our IWM. IWM struggled again yesterday. We tried to get going pretty strongly, but you'll notice that we ended up, we've got double hammers, uh, inverted hammers here. Um, in the chart. Sometimes that can lead to a bullish move in the market. We're certainly holding on this price support, but sometimes that can also be that resting pattern to wait for those bears to engage. So let's watch this carefully here. If the bears were to um, really engage today, then I would look for that possibility of a retest of this uh, uh, support area in here. And if that were to fail, then we're going to start looking at levels down in here possible um, for that bearish attack. And then that's going to probably raise a little bit of concern for the market. If we see the bulls find that inspiration, then once again, see if we can attack these um, wick highs here in the chart. And if we can break through there, then right up here to test the resistance level underneath that little consolidation. Let's take a look at our VIX. Um, surprisingly, we actually had the VIX make a move that was somewhat logical yesterday. And that being that when we caught a little bit of selling, particularly in those tech giants, then we saw that rally up here um, that pushed us into some resistance into the chart. Keep in, keeping in mind, we have significant level of resistance in here. If fear continues to build, then we might look for a break of that area here. That would be if the bears engage um, a break of that area and maybe a push up here toward that 18 handle in the chart. However, if the bulls find their way to um, really start picking up, and there may be reason for that because we've had so many days to the downside that it would be time for a little bit of a relief rally, then we could see this also pull back from that resistance level in the chart. If we take a look at our T2122, well, our T2122 pushed right back up past that 50% area in the chart. So we've got kind of an equal um, weighted situation here. Remember, T2122 is a four-week new high, new low ratio. It doesn't tell us which direction the market's going to go. It just gives us those clues where those pressure points are. So looking at this chart, you'll notice we've got a little bit of a downtrend in here. But if the bulls find inspiration, we could break right through that and maybe push right up in here to test 
um, that upside area here again in the market. But it also shows us that we've got a little resistance above and that we have about an equal weight for that possibility if the bears find inspiration that we push down in this area. So I would be watching for just about anything today. Hops and pops, um, certainly possible. Pops and drops, certainly possible. Whipsaws, keep an eye on uh, that here today. If we look at our uh, T2108, well, T2108 did a really good job yesterday. We held on to this price support here in the chart. About 54% of the stocks holding above their 40 day moving average. So you gotta give that up to the bulls. Um, they're not um, they're not really fearing much here in the market and showing pretty uh, good strength here. So holding in there, we relieved some of that overbought condition for the short term that may actually provide us more upside opportunity. Kind of keep in mind, we've got some resistance here in the chart that we'll have to deal with on the way back up. And then we still have that possibility that this could be that lower high. So watch carefully here in T2108. Our T2107, well, T2107 also had a pretty good day yesterday with the bulls pushing back up, bouncing off of the support area, um, relieving some of that over, maybe um, uh, oversold pressure where we've been down several days in a row. Um, not truly oversold, but uh, just looking for a little bit of relief in the selling. If um, you look right here, we've got about 46% of the stocks holding above their 200 day. Remember, we've got some resistance above here in this chart to be thinking about. And once again, there's that possibility of that lower high that could come into play if those bears were to engage. Let's take a look at our T2101. T2101 pushing on up here yesterday. And uh, volume was relatively light yesterday in the move. So this um, T2101, the absolute breadth of the market. Notice we're struggling here still with a little bit of momentum because of that. Um, continuing to show that possibility that we could um, reverse to the upside here. But you see, if you look really closely, you can see an ever so slight uh, possible hook. And that would be uh, that chance that if the data comes out on the bearish side that we could hook on over and that momentum um, continue to move um, um, to the downside here if the bears were to attack. So watch that carefully. If we take a look at our T21, whoops, we've already done the T21s. We don't need to do that. Let's look at the diamonds. Um, and actually move on to our economic calendar. Economic calendar today, something I've been mentioning this morning, uh, we've got some big data points here that could move us. We've got durable goods orders that are expected to fall into the negative. We'll wanna watch that closely. If it happens to come in better than expected, then the bulls would probably much appreciate that. If it comes in worse than expected, then look for those bears to potentially attack. We've got the Case Shiller home prices. They're looking at those uh, consensus is expecting those to decline um, just ever so slightly. We're just slowly coming down in those home prices. We've got the housing price index in here, consumer confidence. That's expected to tick a little bit higher, showing that the consumers continue to have a little bit more confidence in the market. And then those new home sales, which are, they are looking at those declining just ever so slightly. We do have the Richmond Fed manufacturing, but what we've kind of proven um, in this market is we don't care about manufacturing anymore. It just doesn't matter how bad that gets. We still want to push the market higher. So uh, we've got a five-year note auction here. And then keeping in mind that tomorrow we'll be looking forward to international trading goods, these retail um, and wholesale inventory numbers, along with Jerome Powell speaking and a petroleum status number. Let's take a look at our um, earnings calendar here for today. And we don't have a whole lot on that calendar, which you know uh, is pretty much expected um, as we kind of wind down this quarter. But we do have some notables to pay attention to. I've put AVAV on the list here today to be watching. Um, somewhat notable here in um, the market, so keep an eye on that. It's obviously been, been in a little bit of a bearish 
attitude here lately. Uh, JEF, uh, one of our first kind of financial type companies to report. So watch that carefully in here. Um, could be um, important on how uh, that comes out here today. So watch that. Um, SCEN, SCHN um, will also be reporting today. Now, Steel has been trying to find a little bit of price support in here. Um, as a matter of fact, I did pick up yesterday a little bit of a steel uh, position um, in the market. And I'll show you that in a little bit. But holding up here um, in a higher low, maybe starting to show some bullishness. I think it's really going to depend on what happens here with the dollar. If the dollar continues to weaken, we may continue to see those commodity prices strengthen here overall. And then last but not least, uh, WBA. WBA reporting this morning. And obviously, I'm not too happy here on that report. Continuing this downtrend, continuing to sink pretty hard here, breaking some lows here in uh, the pre-market. Let's take a look at um, our economic calendar here, or excuse me, take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me that quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find those videos to be useful or helpful, if you could please do me that favor and click that thumbs up button, leave a brief comment. That helps the channel to continue to grow. And I just wanna say thank you so much. I never in my wildest dreams would have expected so many folks would um, um, would subscribe to something that doesn't really provide any hype, doesn't really provide any um, uh, prediction to the market. Just looking at those charts and looking at those uh, uh, support resistance and trend levels in the market to make a, a an unbiased decision on how the market may perform for um, the day. So let's take a look at um, some stocks that could be setting up. And remember guys, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any securities. As a matter of fact, I would do um, uh, some pretty significant due diligence because of the data coming out today, I think anything is possible. You should never ever blindly follow anyone else's trade ideas. First off, let's take a look at um, that. I mentioned steel, US steel. I picked up a position here in US steel. You you can see my price alert in that chart. We popped up through here looking pretty good. We'll see if that can continue or not. We do want to recognize that there is a fairly significant level of price resistance there in the chart. But I like the fact that we've kind of snuck out from underneath this downtrend. And if that dollar continues to weaken, then I would look for that area up here to break. And then we'll continue to look for some upside opportunity in steel. Obviously, if we're going to be rallying in the market, um, then we need to be thinking about growth in the market and that would be building things and continuing to advance so we need to see some of these um, areas of the market start turning back around if we are going to be bullish um, also you could take a look at um, steel dynamics steel dynamics is trying to build a pattern here just a little bit we're breaking up through that downtrend holding some higher lows, trying to get going. Big old shooting star pattern here yesterday. So may still have a little bit of a struggle in this area of price resistance. So keep a close eye on that. But some of the steel stocks are coming around. Speaking of commodities, I think we should take a look at some of the um, oil sector stocks that perked up a little bit yesterday. This has been a very, very volatile area of the market, but I think it's something we should be watching carefully. If we are going to be a strong stronger economy, if we're going to ignore some of these data points out there and be a strong economy, then we would really expect to see oil move back up because as people get out and spend and economy loosens up, then they're going to be traveling around doing more in the market. So take a look at AR, trying to build this pattern base in here, trying to perk back up a little bit. Um, watch that closely. We saw Exxon Mobil trying to get some uh, buying going in here, holding this low you can see we've got kind of a triple bottom right in here on that pattern trying to perk up. So keep an eye on some of these oil sector stocks they are trying, and particularly in the area of natural gas. Um, UNG, this is a position I hold, so I have a little bias on this, but UNG trying to break up out of that downtrend, pushing up here. Watch for this resting pullback to, that should 
um, um, set us up for more upside if it does hold. If it doesn't, then you know we're right back to the drawing board on this. But if that can hold up in here, then I would be looking for that next upside on natural gas. So watch that one closely. You uh, might also want to be taking a look at um, some of the stocks in the um, healthcare sector. Um, UNH has been trying to come back here after that big sell-off. We're looking to fill a gap. There's a lot of resistance in this chart, but trying to come back up. Uh, take a look at drug makers like Lilly. Lilly looks like it may be coming into um, some more good news with um, a few of the weight loss drug stocks maybe being pulled. Um, and Lilly kind of coming out on top on that. So watch that carefully. Continuing to move in this upside trend, looking very, very good in the chart. On the other hand, um, you know, you've got stocks like J&J &J that are running into this price resistance and really could be setting itself up on a, on a bit of a bearish move here. Breaking down any rally back up that sets up a lower high, I think, could set up that bearish look in the chart. Take a look at stocks like Visa we were looking for that hopeful upside move that maybe breakthrough up here but boy Visa bearish engulfing candle finding some resistance in the chart this is a tough one to try and figure out because we're seeing this across the board in the market this inconsistency in pricing in in places suggesting that well, maybe the market isn't as good or the consumer is as strong as we say they are. We know credit card debts are at record highs. So watch this area in here as we kind of wedge this area out and try to make that decision whether we're going to move up or down in those socks. One of the good ones yesterday was Home Depot. Home Depot had a really good pop here to the upside, breaking through that resistance and looking like we're going to seek out this next resistance area of the market. So there's another one of those inconsistencies coming on here where consumers are looking really good in some areas and then well uh, we're not feeling so happy in others so kind of an interesting thing going on here in the market and that would suggest we've got to be very picky about the charts we look at and potentially trade we can't just rush blindly into positions we've got to really be discerning about those um, places in the market stock pickers market for sure um, if we take a look at uber this is one of those just screaming to the upside as travel stocks continue like uh like crazy to the upside um, here. Um, very, very stretched in the short term. I really wouldn't want to chase that to the upside. A rest or pullback, however, could set up an opportunity. So with that, guys, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great results in your trading. Thank you so much for being here and listening. I do truly appreciate it. I'll see you right back here bright and early Wednesday morning. And remember, be a little bit careful. We're heading into the end of the quarter where we can see some end of quarter window dressing. We can see that uncertainty about the FOMC have play effect on the market. And we have a big July 4th holiday coming up. So it is also possible by the end of the week we start seeing volume drying up and drying up as everyone starts heading out for their holiday plans so be careful be safe we'll see you right back here bright and early wednesday wish you all the best